that's a that's a good question in my view um, given the level of solar expansion that we're expecting in the next um, 10 to 20 years you really need to have the policies um, and um, some of the infrastructure to be thought of in, in a number of countries um, I also think that um, in terms of financing and um, new structures around how we finance renewable um, need to need to happen if you think about um, Africa in particular um, financing is quite difficult because clearly the strengths of the counterparty being a government or being um, a, a large company there will will play a key role so a combination of the right finance and the right policies um, with the infrastructure one question or a couple there's one more as well. Okay. So will renewables and batteries remain the headline act of the transition? Or will gas with CCS or hydrogen give renewables a run for their money? So uh, I think given what we've seen in terms of renewable and the price of renewable, the, the cost down, um, if I go back ten years you were buying a solar PV at um, a solar panel at 4.4 million. You're now buying that at 250k per megawatt. That's that's a massive drop, 95% um, drop. Um, I think you'll see the same thing on the battery side. Um, the thing that is uh, it will facilitate that is the electric cars. So we're talking about the same lithium-ion technology in cars than you're saying in in battery for solar. So clearly. Um, the day you're able to have the same cost down in, in storage, I think that um, renewable plus storage will definitely um, make sure that effectively we have the flexibility that we need in the system.